Today, we are going to discuss about series and parallel circuit. The electrical component can be connected in a variety of electrical configuration to form a functional electrical circuit. The two simplest type of circuits are series and parallel circuit. A series circuit is all load that are connected in one row and there is only one fat for the electricity to flow. And for the parallel circuit, is a circuit that has two or more paths for electricity to flow. And now, let's proceed with our discussion. This is the three lamps that uh, we're going to do series and parallel. For the moment, I am connected it in a parallel circuit. So, we have here A, B, A, B, A, B. A side is for the line, line one side. And for the B side, is for the black one. I connected it in a circuit breaker to be safe. And I, I, and I also have a switch. Just in case we're going to switch it on and switch it off. So if, I, if I'm going to switch it on, this is what happened. I'm going to switch it off, this is what happened. So we're going to discuss first on the computer. A schematic diagram of a series circuit and pictorial diagram of a series circuit. A circuit composed of a supply battery, a switch, and a load. This is our circuit and this is our supply battery. We have a switch and we have a load. Our load here is resistor, R1, R2, and R3. And on the other side, we have a pictorial diagram of a series circuit. Ser series circuit. This is our load, this is our lamp that is connected in series. Current in a series circuit. The law of current, no matter which part of the series circuit you are going to get the same reading for ammeter. And this is the equation of current in a series circuit. If our supply current is two amps, it will flow all the, all the way to the circuit and coming back to the supply current, 2 amps. Voltage. Voltage in a series circuit. The supply voltage applied in a series circuit is equal to the sum of individual voltage drop across its lamp. The equation of voltage in series circuit. This is the equation of voltage in a series circuit. Vt 12 volts is equals V1 plus V2 plus V3. Just simply add the voltage drop of each lamp in a series circuit in order to get a total voltage. Resistance of a series circuit. The total resistance of a series circuit is equal to the sum of individual resistance. This is the equations of resistance in a series circuit. Simply add the resistance to find the total resistance, just like the voltage. If we have R1, 6 ohms, R2, 8 ohms, and R3, 4 ohms, just simply add a 3, and you will get that 20 ohms. Sample problem. For the given circuit, solve the total resistance, total current, and voltage drop across its resistor. For total resistance, this is the formula in series circuit R3, RT, is equals R1 plus R2 plus R3. If our resistance in each lamp is 6 ohms, 8 ohms, and 4 ohms, we are just going to simply add R, simply adds the this uh, resistance and you will get 18 ohms. And for the current, we use ohms law. I is equals V over R. Our voltage is 12 volts, our resistance is 18, 18 ohms, and our current is 0.67 amps. Here in the low of series circuit, our total resistance is equals our total current. The total current is equal to individual current. And for the voltage, total voltage is sum of uh, individual voltage. To solve the voltage drop for its resistor, we use Ohm's law also. 
A is equals I times R. If our if our total voltage it is 12 volts, we're just going to V1 0.67 times 6 ohms. 0.67 is this is the current. We're just going to times it with our uh, 6 ohms resistance for R1. So we get a uh, 4.0 volts. The same way the voltage drop of a uh, resi resistance number 2. We get uh, 5.36 volts and so on. So if we are going to sum it up, it will also equal to 12 volts. In this case, 12.06 12 is almost the same to 12 volts. Because in the formula, Vt is equals V1 plus V2 plus V3. Let's proceed to parallel circuit. A schematic diagram of a parallel circuit. This is the schematic diagram of parallel circuit and this is the pictorial diagram of a parallel circuit. Voltage and parallel circuit. Voltage is the same across its component of the parallel circuit. If we have a 12 volt supply here, we also have 12 volts. 12 volts. Excuse me. I will return it. If we have 12 volts here, our first lamp will, will also have 12 volts. Our second lamps will also have 12 volts. Our third lamps will also have 12 volts. Why? Because if we are going to look on the diagram from here, it will go here. So what we get from here, we also get here. That is voltage and parallel is equals current and parallel circuit. The total current of the circuit is equal to the sum of the current of its branch circuit, IS or IS or I supply is equals I1 plus I2 plus I3. If our supply current from the source is 10 amps, it will split in every junction. Here in junction 1, the 10 amps will split to 8 and 2. We're just going to bring down this 5 here bring down this 3 and bring down this 8. See here, the 8, 3 and 5, it will sum it up, it will become 8. And the 8 and 2, if you sum it up, it will become 10 and back to the source. Resistance of a parallel circuit. The total resistance of a set of resistor in parallel is bound by adding up the reciprocal of resistance value and then taking the reciprocal of the total. This is the formula of resistance in parallel and this is the shortcut formula of resistance in parallel if you have two resistors. This is the shortcut if you have two resistors that is connected in parallel, you're just going to divide by two and the result is three. And, is, and this is also the shortcut if you have three resistors that the same value, you're just going to divide it by three. And the result is three if you have nine resistors here. Sample problems, series, and parallel combination. Find the total resistance. Here in the circuit, our supply voltage is 12 volts. R1 is 4 ohms. To attack this problem, we are going to solve first this R2 and R3 and our R2 and R3 is 3 and 4 ohms. I'm going to use this shortcut formula for two resistors. RT is equals R1 times R2 over R1 plus R2. Simply as just put 3 times 4 over 3 plus 4. Then our answer is 1.7 ohms. After this, we're going to collapse this circuit and mix it simple circuit. See this one? It is a very simple circuit. All we need to do is we are just going to sum it up. 4, 1.7, and 6 ohms. RT is equals R1 plus R2 plus R equivalent. 4 plus 1.7 plus 6 ohms. Our RT is equals 11.7 ohms. Here on the board, we have a circuit breaker to protect the circuit. We have a switch so that we can switch it, switch on and off. 
we have lamp A, lamp B, lamp C, we have terminal line 1, and terminal line 2. Now, we're going to connect it in parallel circuit. First, you're going to connect here, lamp C. Much easier. Lamp B. I'm going to connect another one to connect to lamp A. Now I already have connected. Now I'm going to connect the source from the switch. After that, I will put the wire nut for our protection. And on the other side, line 2 side, we're going to connect here. We're going to connect lamp B. We are going to put the wire nut. Here, at the same time, we're going to connect the line to source. Just simple as that. We're going to put the lamps. After that, we're going to switch it on the breaker. Then we're going to switch it on the switch. If we're going to switch it on, switch it off. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching.